Hello again, YouTubers. Ultimate SpongeBob 101. Back here again on the SpongeBob channel with our long-awaited SpongeBob Comics number 19 review video. So yeah, it's uh, been two weeks since the release of this issue. So apologize for not being able to upload it um, quickly. We had some really uh, important things to attend to, and we had a lot of tests during uh, school time. So um, we had to study for those. Alright, but anyway, during that process as well, we've got something great planned up for you guys. So, and we're going to be revealing one of those things that we ha have planned up for the networks, alright? So, I'm going to reveal it re before we start uh, reviewing the comics. So, but before that, let's just show you guys the comics first. So, again, we got two copies, alright? So, this one is obviously issue 19. Uh, again, 299 by Unit playing the pictures, and it's called The Search for Squidward. So we're going to change the picture mode now, to blur out the background, there we go, and now we're going to show you the search for Squidward, direct edition, and yeah, so you can see that. Alright, so um, again, this is 32 pages, so we got one with the, uh, one for reviewing and one for a collection, alright, so um, uh, just to let you guys know that SpongeBob Comics will be up on our eBay store. Uh, on the third week of May, alright, so we're gonna start having SpongeBob comics on there. We're gonna be starting up with issue number twenty, alright. So we will have we will have we'll be selling SpongeBob comics on eBay, alright. So if you wanna see uh take check out our eBay listings uh, that we have now, do click the description box in the uh no link in the description box below, and uh, we will have plenty of uh, stuff that we do show you guys on video like uh not just spongebob stuff but uh we have like moose toys pokemon cards and uh tops cards coats game coats and uh much much more all right so um we've got a lot of things planned out for you guys so bef uh today we're going to be revealing uh one of the things that we're going to be doing on our network it's not for the spongebob network uh the spongebob uh channel or anything but however it's still related to comics right so we finally decided to get to uh, have a new video series for the first time in uh in two years on the other stuff channel so we're revealing it uh, to you guys here so if you guys are interested we get you guys can go check out the other stuff channels well for these videos so from now onwards we're gonna be reviewing we're gonna have a new video tech and it's gonna be comics, all right. We're gonna be now. Uh, we're now gonna be starting to review Simpson comics on um, our other stuff channel, all right. So we're gonna be starting out with issue one ninety eight. Got issue one ninety eight, and then we got issue one ninety nine, and issue two hundred. We just uh, just got this today. This probably making this. So yeah, it's a forty eight page one. The others are. 32, I believe, yeah. Alright, so we're going to be doing Simpsons Comics videos on the other stuff channel. So we're going to have uh, 198 up um, this week, this coming week, the first week of May. Um, yeah, it will be uploaded on May 1st, exactly May 1st. Alright, so, and the rest will go up like a, um, kind of like a, uh, once in uh, four weeks kind of thing. Three weeks to four weeks, alright? So it's going to be frequent. But not too frequent because we only have currently have three issues for you guys uh, to review for you guys. Uh, we'll be getting issue two hundred one as as soon as it comes up here. Of course, it was an April issue, but we don't have it yet. All right, so yeah. But for the special comics, obviously, we're gonna be having it like uh, as soon as it come out. But for this time, it's a special case since we were really busy. So also uh, related to the issue twenty. Uh, review we would just like to let you guys know that um, that video will be delayed just a little bit because our exams are doing that week all right so um, hope you guys can understand we'll be ha we'll have it up like uh, on the weekend after the exams and stuff like that uh, but not during not right after its release or anything all right so just to let you guys know because uh, yeah we are really busy with exams during that week um, the whole week is filled with exams so Hope you guys can understand. Um, it's not that we're not going to give it to you guys, but we're still going to bring it to you. Alright, so, Spongebob Comics. Now, alright, so that's our uh, new for May on the, uh, for the other stuff channel. So, uh, we'll have our next, the next video on, this, on the Spongebob channel will be what's coming up in May. 
Alright, and we've got some new video types for you guys. We've got the videos planned out and prepared for you already. Uh, we did it before this video apparently because I totally forgot about this video. So, yeah. Alright, now we're gonna uh, do the Spongebob comics right now. Okay, so just put it there. And then, ooh, wait a minute. What's wrong with this bag? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take it out, eh? And let's show you what it is all about. So, um, we're gonna be telling you guys, like, a lot of things, um, regarding May and June in the May video. So, do make sure to stay tuned for that, alright? So, Sunshine Comics number 19. Okay, now we're gonna go with the first page, and it is Captain Has Gone Mad. This is the contents page, actually. Um, yeah, they always put these kind of pirate uh, contents. Spongebob Comics! Yeah, so... Careful sailing mates. These be the native waters of Spongebob Comics number 19. Featuring the adventures of Spongebob Squarepants and his aquatic friends. Alright, so we first up, we have Farewell Squidward. Alright, so we're just going to zoom out. Um, it's better that way. So knock 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 and uh, they've been knocking for hours. So this was printed again in Beesville, Ca uh, Quebec, Canada on March 25th this year, 2013. Alright, so next, oopsie. Now next up we have Spongebob. Not for days before screw hunters. What can I do for you? Ah, the previous owner, he moved... And left no following interest. Good day. How is it possible? Could that be? Could it be that easy? Yeah, could be that easy. So they you want to find Squidward? So guess what's next? Soon. I've always wanted to travel the world in style and comfort. Yeah. <laughs> Bikini bottom bus depot. Please take a bag in case of motion sickness. Rock bottom. Wow. Okay, and two tickets around the whole entire world, please. And I'll have two scoops of vanilla and a grilled cheese. Right. So long, Bikini Bottom. We'll see you after we check down our dear friend Squidward and say goodbye to him in person. Yep, yeah, wait, who? Hurry up around the world. So, yeah. Next. Squidward, where are you? And Squidward's hiding there. Around the world? Ah, uh, Spongebob will be gone for months. Yippee! Next day, where are you? Squidward, where are you? Night. Squidward. Squidward, it's me, Spongebob. <laughs> Late night. Squidward, Squidward. Make them stop. Squid. Squid, Squiddy. Late, late night. Shh. Night, night. And so. Day. Early, early morning, 24-hour fake beards. International stickers 24-7. Crazy long fake nails all night. Open, obviously. Wake up, everyone. We're back in Bikini Bottom. Thanks for riding all around, all the way around the world. Great trip. What's your favorite part? Uh, the Bering Strait? Yeah, right. So, could it be, Patrick, we, did we travel all the way around the world? Well, we do have very long beards and nails. And these stickers are the names of all the countries we've visited. Boy, time sure flew by. Goodbye, passenger. Goodbye, fellow passengers. Next time, please share your nail clippers. See ya. Are they gone? Yep, alright, thank you. Okay, everyone, get back on the bus. Let's go. Wow, Skewer's there. Patrick, look! We went all the way around the world to find Skewer, and turns out he's right here where he belongs. Home! I have one question. Who are you people? <laughs> so, a sponge of fill-in story. Welcome to the animal. Fill in there. I can't believe I made it into the competition and get to cook in this legendary kitchen. 
And I can't believe the winning chef gets a special prize in their place of employment. I hope it's money. So you had to draw the kitchen there. Eep. The competition looks pretty tough, especially this guy. That guy and her. And that guy not so much. <laughs> don't worry me, but I have complete faith in your winning. Because if you don't, you're fired. Hey Spongebob, I made this custom spatula for good luck. The Thanks, Patrick, so you're supposed to design the spatula here. Now, next page. A challenge begins. Design a sandwich that's unlike any other, that's not unlike any that has come before. So, hmm, got a thing outside the cupboard. <laughs> so you have to draw the ingredients. I got it. Screw, screw, screw. Flat, sizzle, whatever it is. Draw what's in it. And I call it the uh, What Supreme. Meanwhile, contestant 2 is cracking under pressure. Running out of time. Need to be creative. Wow, this will wow the judges. Draw him in the sandwich. Disqualify for illegal ingredients. Right. Alright, so let me just clean the screen here. Alright. Then, it's down to contestants 1, 3, and 4. The judges. Professor Big Bone something. Expert in something. Chef. Fancy chef something, fancy fins, owner of the hit restaurant something. And celebrity special guests who have to eat and run. Fill up DR sandwiches. Go I wish I knew what the judges were thinking. Draw what the judges are thinking. Tell us, SpongeBob, why do you think you deserve to win this competition? Something right its answer. And redraw contestant four. And it's obvious you put passion in your cooking. But what's the, what was the special ingredient put in this sandwich? Special ingredient? Well, I just used the classic Krabby Patty formula, which is, please share so we can judge properly. Hehe. <laughs> well, I, Mr. Grass does want me to win, so I guess I can share the secret. Don't say another word. This judge is an imposter. He's really... Whoops, I thought you were playing to me. Long time business driver. Sorry, I like disguising myself. It's the best way to learn new recipes. Mrs. Cato, the boating school cafeteria lady? Fools, I am Plankton. And when I win this competition, their prize money will help me crush the crusty crab. This guy is totally a robot, by the way. In a surprise twist, Plankton does win, but... Too bad the prize end up just being a big, heavy something jaw prize. A little help here. <laughs> so long lost cover pinup by Caleb Muir. There is the cover as well. There you go. Switch to uh, the uh, landscape so you can see it real nuts. There you go. All right. Now, I'm gonna go on there. Cope, copish. Copious crying cover pinup. Now, Sponge Funnies by Kochalka. This one's called Rock It's Science. Are you ready for some science? I know I am. Today we'll be learn. We'll learn science from this rock. Wow! And we're done. You know what they call that? Geology. <laughs> the future is cheese. In the future, everything will be cheese, except for the cheese. What will the cheese be? And bicycles. And what will bicycles be? Bicycles will be computers, duh. What will computers be? Cheese! Hooray! Wow. Amazing. Clean up in all ten. Alright, so, Borgen Mart. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Oh, hello. How, th how are things at school? Fine, fine. Yeah, even with... What's his name? Sponge Flart? SpongeBob. So, he's, he's still having trouble. Uh, slow down. Which pedal is it again? I'm just not getting through there. How about a duo, Mr. Puff? Anyway, it goes out for the day, and I'm just here to pick up a few things like soap, like dish soap and wishy-washy scrubbers. Wow, now more pars. Mrs. Puff, Puff. Oh dear, perhaps just the to towel instead. So yeah, sponges <laughs> make her feel real terrible. So, here we have the Bikini Bottom Comic Con, a comic book convention in Bikini Bottom. 
Guests of honor are the real life superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Next. Could you sign it to Billy Mermaid Man? It's my favorite issue ever while well, I learned to draw. Hey, sure, kid. Hey, Barnacle Boy, do you remember this one? Let me take a look, Ernie. Monster Lobster Cometh. So, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, issue number 3612 cents. So if comics were that cheap, I, would, I can buy a whole stash of it. I am gonna dip Barnacle Boy in butter fish lips. This is our first meeting with Monster Lobster. But that's not how I remember it. Right, you were never that buff. <laughs> uh, are you gonna sign my comic? There's other fans waiting. Hurry up, okay? I can't remember where we live, but I can never forget that day. We were real superheroes then. So that's what 50 cents television was free and evil was everywhere. <laughs> How's this? Uh, hold your chin up a little more and look righteous. So the phone's ringing. It's the murmur phone. Mermaid man, it's the authorities. There's a robbery going down in Beluga Square. We're on our way, officer. We rolled out in an invisible boat mobile to investigate. Is the is it the atomic flounder? A dirty bubble? Man Ray? We'll find out when we get there, old pal. Yeah, book it out of here, chowder hits. Monster Lobster is here. Give me a vanilla cone with Jimmy's. What? Uh, yes, sir. Monster Lobster, sir. What kind of tonic you got, huh? Who's this now? Stop right there, you crude crustacean. Give that poor vendor back his money or face the wrath of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Huh? Ha 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 ha. Snort ha ha ha. Look, look at that get up. I'm supposed to be scared here. We can take this big bully old buddy. He's laughing at me. No one's ever laughed at me before, old buddy. That is wicked funny. I no longer strike fear in the hearts of the wicked. I'm a big super joke. You're gonna listen to that guy? You're a mermaid man, Lord of the Deep. I am. That's it, you're walking away? Some hero. With a broken spirit, I return to Mermelair. I'm not sure about this, old chum. You need a new look. So? It's not much of a costume. Maybe you're right, old amigo. That's too big a leap. Too daring. I need something that screams. Costume crime fighter. I can hear, I hear you. Something heroic. Something manly. A classic look, I like it, this feels good, this feels right. Now let's go right some wrongs. You know it, old partner. Hmm, I can't see too well. And the gargoyle is a little slippery. Maybe I need to take it in a little. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Ah he fell he falls out. So uh, let's see. We went back to the Murmelair with new, some new ideas. Well, dazzling old comrade. I feel safe in here. You're walking fortress of justice. Then watch me walk. One small step, steady. As she goes, slam, ow. Get on your feet, old crony. Up oh, and Adam can't move. Well, we'll have to rethink this. Something in here is poking me. <laughs> My faithful sidekick worked far into the night to help me find a proper look for crime busting. Too fishy, too retro, too tight. That's it, old roommate. End of the road, I have no more ideas. This is the last one. I like it. It's sharp, it's more than it's totally me. Really? You really like it? I love it. I could fight crime all day and dance all night in it. This just in, Monster Lobster is terrorizing downtown, and the police are powerless. Par perfect timing, oh companion. Let's see him laugh at the new mermaid man. So, now we're gonna go next page. Invisible boat cycle will have us there in mere moments, and that big bully will be shaking in his shell. There's the selfish shellfish now. I'll pay you back when you got more money. 
Return let loot, you overgrown crawdad. It's no laughing matter this time. You kidding me? <laughs> What's so funny about me? Not you, you're a psychic. You're a psychic, that little sailor hat. Those silly shorts. He's laughing at me. He's laughing at me the whole time. He's laughing at me. Whoa, simmer down, Barnica boy. You know what happens when you lose your temper. Hey, I'm boiling in here. Bro, ow, ow, ow. Barnacle boy, cool off. I can't name Steve, no mentor. And so our foe was cooked and lobster fried. Cooked lobster fried, yeah. You sure Chris him, old pal. Well, he uncorked a big old bottle of barnacle wrath. Remember that Mac time Mecca Halibut teamed up with the purple tide? Was that before or after the sea monkey evasion? Can I just have my comic book? Oh, that guy has like four eyes. Okay, now we have the last one. Locked out. Gary, why do you do this to yourself? Well, hi, SpongeBob, what's wrong? Gary locked himself inside the house again. Mao. We could use many de my medieval weapons collection. Time to get uh, time to get medieval on this pineapple. Yeah, <laughs> crash. We maybe medieval or maybe these are. One hour later, time for a new plan. At the count of three, boom! I forgot. I was praying for the explosion-proof pineapple. I feel Gary. I'm sorry, Patrick. What are you doing? Scratching my your head with your spare key. Why? That's it. We'll use your head to break down the door. Bam! Ow! Oh, bam! Ow! Oh. And then Gary is just watching TV. Next issue: Lord of the Kelp Jungle. It's twenty. Uh, comics issue twenty, swinging by in May. Uh, only from United Plankton Pictures. Save the date. Free comic book day. First Saturday in May. So it's actually next Saturday. At the point of making this, it's uh, April 27th. Yeah, April 28th. Alright, so now we got Morning Melody. The tradition continues. I've been playing this song perfectly every morning for years. How do I do it? It's easy if you were me. I play so beautiful. Oh, no, wait. I played so beautifully. The kidney bottom is l lucky I live here. Wow. Squidward doesn't really mind if you play this song every morning. <laughs> morning melody. Uh, no, I've been doing it for years. And <laughs> so it's actually not Squidward who's playing it. But actually, um, Spongebob's, uh, what's it called? The gramophone? Yeah, the gramophone's playing it, not Spongebob, uh, not Squidward. So, yeah, that, that just says that Squidward's music is terrible. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, that's about it for issue number 19. Hope you guys enjoyed the issue. Also, make sure to check out our other Spongebob comic review video. Avail um, it's up now. And also, um, uh, a user asked us regarding issue number 9. Uh, for that video, we won't have it so up so quickly because we have a lot of new things to uh, bring to you guys. And also, we don't have that much time, alright? So, um, we really apologize that we couldn't give, it, uh, give you guys that video um, like, uh, quickly. But um, it will come, of course. So... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys can understand as well. Alright, so we got a lot of things coming up for you guys in May. We still don't have our Photoshop, uh, copy of uh, Photoshop yet, but uh, we'll still have the videos up uh, without any editing involved. So, yeah. Okay, next video is what's coming up in May. And the next following video, well, you have to watch the next video to find out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, favorite, comment, etc. Hope you enjoyed this issue. Uh, this review is it no way. This, the review of this issue of SpongeBob Comics, and make sure you check out our other SpongeBob Comics videos by the playlist link in the description box below. So, once again, subscribe if you haven't, like, favorite, comment, etc. And see you guys in the next video here on the SpongeBob channel. Bye!